Hey everyone, welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to share some of my thoughts about the Apple Vision Pro. I just came back from that 15-20 minute demo at the Apple Store. I, I did not purchase the Apple Vision Pro. I don't have any plans of purchasing Apple Vision Pro at this moment, maybe in the future, when it's a little bit more uh, slimmer. But uh, I do want to share some of the thoughts because I have tried Meta Quest 3, 2, and Oculus also. So I have a little bit of uh, idea of how these things kind of feel. All right. So let me just take a look at my note. Well, first of all, the, the session kind of started at exactly the time that they have allocated. So that was good. Punctual. Punctual punctuality is always good. So that's good. Uh, the eye tracking is just insane. I mean, it is extremely accurate. Whenever you're looking at like even a small X or anywhere, the eye tracking was working for me like 100% of the time. I do wear glasses, so they had to fit like a different corrective lenses or something. And uh, I was able to use those. So I was not wearing glasses at the time of when they were uh, of the demo. And the demo was all sitting, so we cannot stand or move around. All right. Gestures are fluid and natural. So it's, I didn't really have to think that much. I knew that, okay, you, you know, you have to do like this with your fingers. If that's a tab, that's a double tap and scrolling and dragging and all those things. So I already knew most of the stuff. It was very natural, very fluid. So the learning curve is basically nothing. All right. You'll, you'll feel right at home. Um, the 8K video that they played during the demo, and it was like clips of different things, um, that was insanely good. I mean, 8K video, I, I was kind of experiencing that I was there at that moment. And there were different clips of lake with, you know, different mountains, uh, some rock climbing stuff. <clears throat> so all of that was really, really impressive. Now, I have seen these kind of things before in Oculus also, uh, but, you know, with Vision Pro, everything looks, uh, it was it was nice because the good thing is, was that I was not really wearing my glasses and they already had some, you know, inserts that they were using uh, with my prescription. So that was really good for those cases. All right. Uh, the strap, the Vision Pro strap was very high quality. It was very comfortable, even though Vision Pro itself as a device is a bit heavy. And I don't think if I'm wearing it, I won't really be wearing it for longer periods of time. Um, but I'm not really sure how people are just walking around with it outside uh, because it is a little bit heavy. And hopefully in the future, you know, it will get slimmer. Now, they did show me a demo of the 3D picture with the depth in it. And since I don't really have a Vision Pro and the demo was all sitting down, what I wanted to do is to look at the 3D picture from different perspective. Like it was a 3D picture of some sort of a birthday party celebration in the backyard. And I wanted to, I can see the depth, it's obviously 3D, but I wanted to go back from a different perspective, go and move around the picture and see. So I'm not sure if that's possible or not. Uh, or you can only see the picture from that particular angle. But if you can move around in the picture, that would really be good. There was a soccer match 8K recorded video, and it really felt like that I was, and it was completely immersive. So it uh, it really felt like that I was actually there. And I think this Vision Pro in the future or far future, it's going to be really interesting to see that how these ESPN and all these companies are doing because think about it. Like I love cricket. Like I love, love, love cricket, playing cricket. And just think about it that if there are, if there's a live match going on, obviously you can see the match on your screen, on your laptop, on your TV, on your phone. But wouldn't it be awesome if you can actually see the match from an empire point of view or even the batsman point of view, right? I mean, this is really going to show you that how it feels when the ball is coming at you at like 96, 98 miles per hour, right? So obviously all of those things, they are like in the distant or the far future, but um, I'm sure they will be able to provide some camera angles, like they might be like outside the boundary or like if you're watching a soccer match, you are like behind the goal. So those will be really interesting. Or uh, maybe you're watching an NBA game and you, you have a seats, uh, you know, like at the really front, whatever those like the the ground seats all right 
Um, yeah, the Vision Pro will be really big. Now, the real world, looking at the real world through Vision Pro, the real world looked a little bit pixelated. You know, it was not like if I'm looking at the real world right now, it looks clear and everything with my glasses. So real world looks kind of a little different, all right? So you have to be careful over there. I, I'm sure that in the in the future, they will adjust that or because it was not, it, it something was off. It was a little bit, not blurry, but a little bit pixelated, all right? Um, and again, I, I do want to use hand gestures also. Like, so most of the gestures, or pretty much all the gestures, is that you, you're looking at something and the eye tracking is just insane. You're looking at something and you click it, you zoom it, you drag it, and everything works. But what I wanted to try out is what if I have a window or something that's floating in the air and I go near the window, physically I go near the window and just drag it and resize it with my hands like this, right? Or just grab it and move it around. So in MetaQuest 3, you can actually do that. I can just go near the window, whether it's a Safari browser or any kind of a browser, and I can just grab it with my hand and I can just move it around, all right? So I'm not really sure if that's possible in Vision Pro because I, our demos were just sitting and you can't really you know, move around. Uh, but I'm excited. Um, this is definitely a new, something new. Uh, well, I wouldn't really hold on a second. I shouldn't say something new, but uh, uh, something new from Apple, I guess that I should say that. And uh, I think in the in the future, it's going to only get better. Right now, the device feels a little bit bulky, heavy. Uh, but you know, think about it. Maybe in like, not sure how many years, like maybe five or ten years, maybe the glasses that I'm wearing right now, maybe this this will become Vision Pro glasses, right? And I think. This is where it will become really interesting. All right, so there's a lot of use cases for it, like context-driven, uh, you know, menus or context-driven apps that will come into play later on. Uh, but my initial thoughts of using it for like 15, 20 minutes are very positive. Uh, I'm not really going to buy it because I don't really buy uh, first-generation devices, so I, I would like it to mature a bit, uh, you know, slim down a little bit. And, and uh, you know, all the bugs and all, everything glitches, like when you're looking at the real world, it's a little bit pixelated. All of those have to be fixed. And and then, yeah, I, if it's slimmed down, and then it's uh, definitely in my to-do list or in my wish list that I, I will buy. But uh, interesting experience. If you have an Apple store near you, uh, definitely make an appointment with them and check out an experience Vision Pro. Thank you so much.